In this highly secure factory, about 300 kilos of gold are processed every week. The refinery is run by Belgian businessman Alain Goetz. It's a sophisticated machine which does a surface scan and which shows the content and the composition of the other metals it contains. It's the only refinery in East Africa to produce gold of this purity. 75 people are employed here, most of them Ugandans. Alex Chega used to be a plumber before working here. I took the training from here. We are the very first people who work here to make gold in Uganda. 56 kilos of gold are processed today at a value of more than $2 million. By processing gold officially and abolishing the local tax on the trade, the authorities here say they can start to eliminate the booming black market. It was a sector which was always hidden. Now, by lifting the tax, the trade is becoming legal and transparent. The gold comes from this region, but whether it's sourced from Uganda, Tanzania, or across the borders of the Democratic Republic of Congo or South Sudan, tracing its origin is extremely difficult. And regional instability makes it easier to smuggle this precious metal across Uganda's borders. More than 90 percent, I can say it comes from Congo, because uh, the production of gold in Uganda is very low. But from my side, I would get it from people uh, without even asking for documentation by government or clearances. According to a recent UN report, most of the gold which comes from the DRC is produced illegally, and it's one of the main sources of funding for the many armed groups in the region. For now, it remains almost impossible to tell who may be profiting from this lucrative trade.